Revival is, is always perceived of as a time of great unity, of, of a coming togetherness, of, of oneness of a body of Christ. Doesn't the, the psalmist say, you know, when, when unity comes, then the spirit will flow. And, and yet Wesley and Whit Whitfield were absolutely at loggerheads with each other. Theologically, they were poles apart, wouldn't go to each other's meetings. I mean, how do you well, well, tie it that in? It started out they were the best of buddies, but unfortunately they got slightly sidetracked on their areas of theology, Calvinism, Calvinism and Arminianism, and that did cause a split. Eventually, though, uh, they were reconciled, but God in his infinite wisdom and mercy saw two great men and many other men and many women and they went and they preached the truths of the gospel and the Holy Spirit came and he blessed it to their words. Okay, so a great revival and in fact I think at that particular time France was going through great upheaval, wasn't it, under Napoleon and it said the only thing that stopped Britain from experiencing civil war yeah. was the revival that took place under Wesley and Whitfield. That is correct, yeah. It was that revival which brought that social cohesion back into the community.